So in this next video segment, we're gonna talk about running a continuous medication infusion. In this example, we're going to be hanging heparin. Our heparin comes in a pre-mixed bag in a standardized concentration of 25,000 units per 250 mLs. Let's take a second to look at the anatomy of the bag here. We've got a barcode that you can see on the left-hand side that actually comes printed on the bag. So we're gonna use that barcode to scan our continuous medication infusion, and we're also gonna scan that barcode to use our bolus from the bag function. Um, another example of a medication that you might see pre-mixed would be magnesium sulfate. As a side note, there are bags that will be mixed in the pharmacy. These will come up with a medication label that have a barcode on them for the medication. An example would be a cefazolin, which we just hung as a secondary. There are examples of medications that are mixed in the pharmacy that also have a bolus from the bag function. For example, amiodarone, and we will have, again, a separate barcode on the actual medication label for the bolus from the bag function. So let's continue on with programming our heparin. So we always want to run a continuous medication infusion through its own pump. We're going to talk to the channel by hitting channel select and choose guardrails drugs. This is going to show us our drug library on the right hand side and we're going to use our soft keys to find the H for heparin and go ahead and select our heparin medication. So here we're just at a confirmation screen where we want to be sure that we have the correct concentration. You would want to compare it to what you're seeing on the bag and also what's written in the order. So select yes. Please note that there's this is just a clinical advisory that our um, pumps have recently been updated, so make note of that and go ahead and hit confirm. And again, just confirming that we have the right concentration and press next. So here's where we can uh, program in our infusion according to the order. So we have a volume to be infused of 250. And per our order, we're going to be giving 950 units of heparin. So we program that in and go ahead and hit start. And here you'll notice we have hit our guardrail. So this says that we've exceeded our dose of 5,999 units per hour. Notice the pump is telling you to press reprogram. So we're going to select reprogram to see maybe if we goofed up while entering this. So you'll notice here that when we program the rate, we put in a dose of 950 mLs per hour in the rate section. So if we go ahead and select dose and program in 950 units there, it will automatically calculate our rate of 9.5 mLs per hour, which is much more appropriate order for heparin. So if we go ahead and hit start, then we'll notice that on our channel we've got our 9.5 mLs per hour and we've got heparin infusing. We have to change our rate based on the um, heparin level result of 0.12, which means that we're going to have to increase our rate to 1150, increased by 200 units basically, and we're going to give a 3000 unit bolus. So let's start by talking to our module, click the channel select, and we're going to start by changing our rate. So increasing 200 units is going to put us at 1150, and using our smart pump it's going to calculate our rate for us. So now our next step is to actually give the bolus, and we bolus from the bag so we don't have to open up our closed system. Click on the bolus button at the bottom of the screen and type in your bolus of 3000 units. It's going to automatically calculate a duration for you. You can go ahead and hit start to begin your bolus. And once it's done bolusing the 3,000 units, it is going to change right back over to our rate of 11.5. Bolus is complete. You'll notice that we've changed back over to our rate of 11.5. Fast forward six hours in our scenario. Our result is back for our heparin level, and it is now 1.04. And based on our order, that means that we're going to have to change our rate down another 100 units, and we're going to hold our infusion for 30 minutes. So start by doing channel select. You're going to change your dose from 1150 to 1050. So automatically create a calculator rate for us. And now we're going to use the delay options button in order to 
stop our pump for 30 minutes. So we're going to use the delay for option within here. Go ahead and type in 30 minutes. And before we leave here, click on your callback options there. Um, we want to change this to no callback option. What that's going to do is after 30 minutes, our pump's just going to restart at our new rate of 10.5 mils an hour. If we use one of the other options, it would stop the pump and require us to come back in. So go ahead and click confirm. And you're going to notice that your pump is now going to show that it's on hold. It's on standby there with the yellow light in the lighthouse. And it's going to restart in 30 minutes. Forwarding 30 minutes. Uh, the delay is done, and we have automatically gone back over to our 10.5 mils an hour.